Hey guys, so today we'll be talking about the misconceptions in the USA and Europe as far as regulations go in cosmetics. There's been a lot that is being said about the regulations. Some people are not sure. Some people think that Europe is a little bit more stricter than the US. So today we're going to be debunking some of these myths and we're going to tell you guys what standards are set in place both in Europe and in the United States. And the first myth I'm going to break down is that Europe is a lot more stricter than the United States when it comes to regulating their skincare products. This is not true. They do appear a little bit more structured, but fundamentally they are both the same. The US and the European, European Union both have set standards of rules as far as cosmetic regulation. The second myth I want to debunk is that Europe has a lot of ingredients that have been banned from using in production. Yes, this is true, but at least three quarters of that list is literally not possible to be used in production. Things like fuel additives, things like that are not even used in skincare production. So it appears that way, but most of the stuff that's banned from their lists cannot be used in skincare anyways. Now, cosmetics are regulated at every step of production, before the product enters the market, when the product is in the market, and after the product actually hits the market. There is set standards of rules and regulations that companies and manufacturers have to follow uh, throughout every stage of production. So there are scientific groups both in the United States and in Europe that peer review documents to make sure that these manufacturers are following the rules and regulations. In the US is the Cosmetic Ingredient Review Panel. In Europe, it is the Scientific Committee and Consumer Safety. So in the US, this group measures that these ingredients, they are safe to use under certain conditions and if certain levels of use are not safe at all. The same goes for Europe as well. There's some ingredients that are banned in Europe used in the US and there's some ingredients that are banned in the United States that are safe to be used in Europe. So in the US, the FDA has set a set of rules that manufacturers have to follow to make sure their products are now misbranded or auto treated once it hits the market. Also, the FDA can show up at your manufacturing facility unannounced, especially when there's been concerns or reports about your products causing some sort of adverse reaction to make sure that you're following the set of rules and standards for production. In Europe, there's the same proof of safety burden that's on the manufacturer to make sure that their products when they hit the market are safe to be used. But in the case of Europe, they use a toxicologist to perform these tests. This toxicologist looks at the ingredients in the product, the usage levels of the product, and the way that you're using the product to make sure that you're using it as it's intended and that it's safe. Now, once all of your testing is done and your product hits the market, rules and regulations still apply. In Europe, you're required to keep the file on hand at all times just in case there needs to be checks and balances. Both in Europe and US, there has to be specific labeling requirements on the package. You have to state your company name, phone number, address, and actually in Europe, the distributor of that product should also be on the package. And as far as fragrance, Europe has 26 fragrances that can be used at certain concentrations that have to be listed on the package regardless of what percent they're used or not. As long as you use one of these fragrance allergens, you must list it on the package. In the US, fragrance allergens are not required to be listed on the package. The FDA does provide a certain percentage for fragrance allergens and you can go above that threshold. After your product hits the market in Europe, there are a specific set of actives that have been listed that can only be used in products. For example, if you wanted to produce a sunscreen product, you can only use those specified UV filters. In the US, there are a specific set of actives that have been listed by the FDA, and these sunscreen products can only be produced in companies or facilities that have been approved and validated by the FDA before sunscreen or OTC products can be produced in that facility. And that's it guys. I hope I've been able to debunk some of your questions or concerns about Europe and United States. As you can see, both are pretty similar. They just have different pathways on how they go about their rules and regulations. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. Right here, I do share skincare tips here and there on my page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.